Ahoy! is a positive, uplifting reality show based upon the crew, employees, and passengers of the Portland Spirit River Cruises. Somebody from the Outrageous came up and said, the Outrageous isn't running, we're trying all these things, um, the passengers are going to wait for, you know, another, whatever, half hour, 45 minutes. It's a reality show unlike any other. The Portland Spirit has five boats, four are located at their home base in Portland. The fifth boat is moored at their second location, 45 miles east at Cascade Locks in the scenic Columbia River Gorge. There are over 1,500 cruises a year, and no two are alike. I've got 12 tables in my section, so I've been running like a crazy person all night. Um, my record is 14 tables in one night. That was my very first Valentine's Day on the boat, so it was absolutely insane. There's drama, excitement, and heartfelt moments. Watch them rise to the surface. This big family is dysfunctional, successful, creative, and hardworking. Conflicts happen within a family. It's inevitable. Like our parents were fighting. It was really hard. I know. Everybody feels like that. Well, he was pissing me off. He's an extra person on the floor. When conflicts arise, they will be resolved with positive outcomes. I apologize. I was wrong. I shouldn't have done it to him. The cruise lives are as interesting on the vessels as they are on dry land. I'm Dennis Corwin, and I run the day-to-day -day operations on the Portland Spirit. And these are our stories. Dennis is intense, professional, and runs a tight ship. We'll make it work. I'd rather leave the dock a little bit late than uh, not run at all. His fun-loving, goofy side appears often. Ow, Jesus. I fit. I just pinch my I gotta learn to not fidget so much. He's married to the company as well as Kelly, a cruise manager. Because I will walk on and say, hey, could we move this coat rack? And immediately everyone else will be like, sure. And Kelly will be like, why are you picking on me? I, you wouldn't ask anybody else to move that coat rack. Working with her husband can present both opportunities and challenges. Let's just say they are never scheduled at the same time. It's the hardest cruise we do. <laughs> because you haven't figured that out. But the expectation is so high. There are so many elements to the cruise. Managers don't typically call my husband unless there's something going on. I will find out because <laughs> I know everything. <laughs> I think it's really about the people that work here that makes it exciting and fun and different and kind of crazy and wild. All service staff report to Mindy. She's married to Jeff, who oversees all the operations in Cascade Locks. We have a very crazy plan here, but we're doing it. Mindy and Jeff agree work stays at work. Try to figure out the facts and then try to help find a solution instead of throwing my hands up in the air and acting all crazy and being emotional about it. So that's my job. Kelly, can you make sure everyone comes down for the song? Yes, thank you. She works hard and plays hard. You like turn another corner, and there was more hell. Turn another corner, and everybody's just hiking. Lyman is a self-confident captain. Our primary concern, of course, is the safe operation of the vessel. But we're also a restaurant. We're also an entertainment. Uh, and uh, part of that is always making sure that the kids have a good time. Because he's adamant about being prepared, he enjoys running safety drills. Music is in his blood. His first CD came out in 2012. The songs that I perform are mostly Americana, which is kind of a, I call it folk without the bad attitude. And it's, uh, it's kind of a cross between folk, bluegrass, and country. You hear Riverboat Captain, you think of Tom at the helm of the stern wheeler. It doesn't have a bow thruster, it doesn't have propellers. It's just like a boat from the 1800s. You got the wheel and you got the rudder. He and his wife Brenda, a cruise manager, call Cascade Locks their home. Even Lewis and Clark could have taken directions from Tom. Look out the river out in front of us here. This is basically the same scene that Native Americans would have had. Uh, Lewis and Clark, Hudson Bay Fur Trapper, Oregon Pioneers as they worked their way down this river. They've got a, uh, a brew pub over here. I'm going to go over here and they make their own root beer. I'm going to go have a root beer float. The Portland Spirit Company will be yet another cast member. The employees are proud of the company and have an unusual loyalty to the owner. We have gotten a tremendous amount of loyalty out of people by providing the flexibility to live your life but also pay your bills. It's not always smooth sailing. The river is a dramatic backdrop attracting natural disasters, accidents and even suicides. A woman drove in the river about 2.40 this morning uh, right in front of the Spirit, almost hit the bow of the Spirit. Uh, they have since pulled out the car and unfortunately the, the woman is deceased. The new bridge being built is a nightmare to the company. To date, they've had to re-landscape, build a 100-foot dock, and lower the height of two boats. These issues will continue into 2015. Drills and safety are high priority. 
Go behind the scenes and witness what it takes to keep these ships afloat. Business wouldn't be as interesting without the passengers and their stories. I'm Greg Rimsberg from Gold Rush, and uh, today I brought my family on the uh, Portland Spirit to uh, enjoy the lunch cruise. It's been great so far. The boats are the set pieces, and the river is the stage. The resident maritime expert is Sean, but everybody calls him Bozen. You miss me singing my song. Bozen has his priorities straight. The barbecue, very important. <laughs> Each episode has three short segments called Bozen Bits. He will inform the audience on three different subjects, nautical terms, Portland fun facts, and physical aspects of boats. Captain Taffy is part of the Cinnamon Bear cast. Our shipmates, welcome to Riverfest. This isn't just a job for Jarrell. He also enjoys getting to know the passengers. We had a lady who had her son kidnapped when he was two years old. And they had reconnected, I guess, two years ago, but only for like a, a week. And he's in his 40s now. And so they were on the boat together for the first time since she'd seen him two years ago. His church starts to fill rapidly with his seven children. On his motorcycle, the open road calls his name. <laughs> so I've never been too shy, so I did kind of just jump on the moment. Maddie is the youngest cast member. I worked at a, a food cart during the summer, and that was really cool, but I've never served food before, so this is my first job pretty much ever. Studying theater arts is a priority, so she works part-time. I'm goofy, I'm different, and I get to do really exciting things like sing for the Timbers. Being in the top 100 on American Idol means she knows her way around reality TV. Hey, you were great, yeah? Man. Is it God Save the Noble Queen or Our Noble Queen? Our Noble okay, Queen. Okay, you did a great job. Thank you. The owner is the hidden cast member, as Wilson was on Tool Time. Dennis, you just gotta let it go, guy. Just gotta let it go. Drake, the owner's dog, will be on camera while hearing the owner's voice. We are rated A+, plus, which is a high score by the Better Business Bureau. The issue is, you know, moving all that food, and we don't have enough crew to run two boats. He's the guy behind the scenes that ultimately calls the shots. Oh my God, all you gotta do is come up with five bullet points. Quit your whining. It's not only a family-owned and operated business in the Rose City, the employees act like a close-knit family as well. These people who are my friends and my family make it all worthwhile. And I have to say that, you know, it, it's emotional and it's, it, it, it makes this entire, it makes this entire experience worth it. With the direction reality TV has taken, it's time to change the landscape now. Ships Ahoy takes a positive twist. Don't miss the boat on this opportunity. This never ends. There's always somebody with a story.